The group has ordered the ban on mobile internet for all service providers and gave maximum 15 days to comply. The internet ban as well prevents the use and extension of fiber optic wires. Fiber optic service reached Mogadishu November last year and was set to launch later this month. They seem to be afraid of high-speed internet, perhaps the ability of high-speed internet to transfer data and information from their locations to other locations, specifically as the use of drones and other uh, unmanned, unmanned area vehicles become more prevalent in the parts of the area uh, of the country that they are in. Al-Shabaab said in a statement broadcast on a radio station linked to the group that whoever is found using either fiber optic or mobile internet service after the deadline would be considered to be working with the enemy. The public is thus outraged at the directive. Internet services have been very vital here, especially to those pursuing education like myself. It is not wise to ban it. The internet is very useful. We so very much need the internet. I'm a student and as we speak, I'm preparing for exams. I rely on the internet for my research as well as receiving assignments from my lecturers. Therefore, a ban on the internet would grossly affect me. The Somali government has condemned the announcement and called on service providers to resist coercion. Last year, the group banned the use of smartphones in areas under their control. Mohamed Irimogi, CCTV, Mogadishu.